Alright, so this video is going to be part 14 of our sequences and series review. Okay, this video will be on using common Maclaurin series. So here's your list of all of your common Maclaurin series, okay? Most of which we've we've had some experience with before, okay? We started off with 1 over 1 minus x. We've talked about e to the x in, in some other videos before, not review videos, I don't believe. But anyways, we've done sine x. We did that in a review uh, video a couple videos ago. Actually, was it? It should have been last video, but whatever. Cosine of x we did, natural log of 1 plus x we did, but we didn't do inverse sine and the inverse tangent. And lastly, we have the binomial series, okay? Now, this is something I didn't cover in review, so if you want to check out the binomial series, you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable with it, definitely check out the video that I did on that. So, this list of common McLaurin series is nice and everything, but it's a lot to remember, okay? Now, it's something that I definitely made sure that I remembered before the final. But if you know if you forget one during a test or something like that, you forget. But you know, for example, for this function right here, this is x e to the two x. Okay, if you forget the Maclaurin series for e to the x, it's not a big deal. You can do it from scratch. Okay, so you don't have to necessarily remember all of these. Okay, it'll be a nightmare to do something like arc sine or arc tangent. But you know, if, I mean, and so I would definitely make sure that you remember those. But if you forget something like e to the x, or you know, maybe maybe sine of x or something like that. It, it's not the end of the world. You, you're not necessarily going to absolutely get that question wrong because those are series that we've done before. We've been able to do those from scratch. So you can just, you know, you can do that. Okay. So, but, but at least what I did, I made sure that I remembered them. And I also remembered the, the intervals on, you know, and that's something you can also find out too for any of these series. You can use the ratio test to figure out the interval so you don't have to remember that okay so try to remember as as little as possible right okay so here's how we can use these if we have the the function uh, x e to the 2x okay we want to find a Maclaurin series representation for that function well what we can do is we can start off from e to the x and e to the x as we have over here equals the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. Now, the first thing that we can do is plug in that 2x for x. We can find out what e to the 2x is, okay? So what we do is just instead of having an x here, we're gonna have a 2x here now. So we have the sum from n equals zero to infinity of 2x to the n over n factorial. Now, for our next step, we're going to be multiplying an x through. So it would actually be a little bit nicer to, to write this as the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of 2 to the n times x to the n over n factorial. Okay, it'll be nicer because then we have x by itself. So if we're multiplying an x through, it'll be easier for our exponent. So if we now have not just e to the 2x, but x e to the 2x, we have now the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of, we multiply that x through, which makes this exponent in n plus 1. Okay, we have a 2 to the n times x to the n plus 1, and that's going to be over n factorial. And that is how you can come up with a Maclaurin series representation pretty fast from, you know, just using one of our common Maclaurin series that we've, that we've had some experience with before. Okay, let's do one more example. Now, for our next example here, we have sine of x to the fourth over x. Okay, and we can just start off here from sine x. Okay, we start off here from sine x. We know that that's the sum from n equals zero to infinity of negative one to the n times x to the two n plus one over 2n plus 1 factorial. Okay, so sine of x to the fourth, we're just going to plug in an x to the fourth for this x here. So we now get the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of a negative 1 to the n times, well, if we had now have an x to the fourth, okay, that 4 is going to get multiplied through here, it's going to be 4 times a 2n plus 1. So the 4 is going to have to get distributed there. Okay, that's the rules of, of, of 
having two exponents, uh, well, having an exponent on an exponent, okay? They have to get multiplied together. So we now have an 8n plus 4 here. And that's going to be over 2n plus 1 factorial. Now, if we're dividing an x on top of that, all that's going to do is just subtract 1 from that exponent, okay? That's all we're doing there. So now we have the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times x to the 8n minus, sorry, not minus, plus 3 over 2n plus 1 factorial. And there you go. Okay? So it's pretty easy if, as long as you know the common Maclaurin series. Okay? And, and, and of course, as I said, if you're not super great with memorization, that's fine still because... Yes, it'll take you a little bit longer, but if you figure out sine of x, then you can just do this exact same thing. And, and right there, figure out sine of x to the fourth over x. Okay? So, it's not like you have to remember it. Okay, just instead of trying to figure out the Maclaurin series for this right away, figure out the Maclaurin series for sine of x, and then go from there. Okay? Then do exactly what we just did here. Okay, so that should be the last video for our sequences and series review. It may not be. I might add something to it later on. But uh, if this does turn out to be the last video, uh, then good luck on your sequences and series test. Um, hope you do well. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series in the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon!